Hello everybody and welcome to this seminar for Young Enterprise in Oxford. Um, I'm Jonathan Dawson and with me are Chris Bateman and James Lloyd and we're going to talk to you a little bit about uh, some of the things that you will need to know for the end of your Young Enterprise year. We're going to cover the guidance for the company report, we're going to look at what you can expect with the area final and talk a little bit about what happens next. So Chris, can you kick off by talking us through the company report? Yeah, absolutely. So the company report, folks, is essentially your the summary of your year in business for your team. Um, it's an overview of what you've had in terms of achievements and the, the, the challenges you face as well. Um, it's written very much by your company members, and it's really important that you get across a feel for who you are in your report as well as what your company's about. So it's about it, it's about you explaining from your perspective, not your business advisor who's tend to lead, what you think has gone well and not so well. Um, it's really important that it's innovative and original. You've got to stand out against all the other reports. Um, and therefore, please try not to use a template or a previous report to kind of base your report on it. It's really important that yours is yours and yours only. The deadline for your report, and this is the really important part, is the 14th of March. Okay. Once you finish your report, you need to save it as a PDF, export it into a PDF, and send it off to Alison Pexton, whose details you already, ha already have. Some of the kind of more logistical things, um, no more than 10 sides of A4 and a cover page if you want to. Um, and your body text, the main text of your body should be about size 11. I recommend no larger than about 13 to make it look fairly professional and business-like. Um, there's quite some specific things on what, in what your cover page must include, so they're listed, listed on the screen now. Your company name, your centre name, your centre lead name, etc, etc. And they're quite important in terms of making sure that it goes to the right board, to the right company final, and gets you entered for the right competition. So page one of your report um, should be an executive summary. My advice is to get this written by your managing director. Um, it will include your company name, your mission statement, and give a real overview of the company, what are your products and services, a bit of a summary about your financial results, have you made profit, have you made a loss, um, and, a company, and, a, and a summary of your kind of performance as a company. How has it gone? What are the real strengths? What are the real weaknesses? And a very, very brief bit about your company accounts. This should really be the bit that the, the, the judges should be able to read and get a flavour of what's going to come up in the next nine pages. Some hints for you then. Um, one thing you could do is each member of your team could be allocated a different section and then each member of your team could write one part of their report and then get one person to then write that up and bring it together into a kind of proper professional flowing document. As I said earlier, it's a business-like professional report. So your business advisor, your centre leader, should be able to give you some advice on making sure that it is not too essay or school report styly. You should make sure as well that you include your professional development stories. Young Enterprise isn't just about making money or the outcome of your company. It's about you learning other students. Make sure you include that as well. Um, outline the company personnel structure. Make sure that the judges know who's in your team and what they've done and how they've come along with the person. And really shout about your achievements. This is one of the opportunities to make you really clear what your success is on a team. Make sure you include some photographs. Make sure it's not just text. Um, but of course, make sure you've got the right permissions for that. Um, and then finally, just whatever you do, make sure your report stands out from the other companies. The judges have got to read 14 to 15 of these reports every single year, and it's often one person reading all of them. So whatever you can do to make it stand out against the others is going to help you then progress into the next stage of the competition. Um, so folks, that's my information on the company report. Um, Jonathan and James, what's, what's your thoughts about what makes a really good company report? Well, the ones that I've seen in the past, probably the better ones are the ones that, as you rightly say, mix the, uh, or get the balance right between business, looking official, having a, a f official type font, uh, getting it the right size, a nice formatting, etc. but with personality put in there. So something that's a little bit different, whether that's the, the company and the branding, uh, sorry, the, the colors and the branding that a company have used, um, or whether it's the, the you know, particular tone of voice. Um, and so some of those can really make them stand out. And when the judges are, are, are evaluating them, um, that's one of the things that, that they remember uh, have, have been really quite impressive from previous reports. Okay. For me, um, I think it is important, as we've touched on, to be, to be real. And when I've looked at company reports in the past, there's those that are very truthful and actually touch on their mistakes or things that have been made, uh, problems that have happened. And I think when judging them, it's, that's what the judges want to see, really. They want to see real people because when in business, 
things always go wrong um, and it's not all rosy. So really uh, to think about how you've overcome those problems and, and grown as people off the back of that is, is always really good to see. Um, and also use the strengths within the team. So make sure the marketing uh, person uh, writes about the marketing that you did and the financial person does the, the financial report. Use the strengths that you have. Um, and yeah. Oh, the final thing I would say is give yourself lots of time. Uh, don't try and start writing this the night before because you will run out of time. Try and get uh, internally a draft together maybe a week before and then that gives you loads of time to, to look through edits and make sure yeah. that it, the final product is a good one. And, and Jonathan, one other question for you about the finance report because the finance is really quite important. Um, as the face of what you identify as finance, um, what, what about the interim kind of end of, end of year reports? How, how does that work? So it can be very useful to use the finance parts of the YE online to uh, include within your report. So the standard tools that you've been using to capture your sales uh, and the products that you've been purchasing in order to make your products and sell, um, VAT, those sort of things, you can take screenshots. If you've been using Excel, you can include those as well. But basically, you demonstrate your understanding of the uh, concepts behind money coming in, money going out, the profit margins, uh, and that the whole team has, has engaged with this. So it's never just up to the finance manager to tell everybody how it works. Uh, hopefully, uh, the whole team has, has gained a bit of an understanding uh, about you know, some of the, the, these key concepts that really help businesses run. So hopefully that's pretty clear, and thank you very much, Chris, for, uh, for going through that. Um, James, do you want to give everyone a little overview of the area final? Absolutely, yeah, a really exciting time in the year, um, and I hope everyone's looking forward to it. So our area final, the City and Central final, is on the 24th of March at uh, Harley-Davidson's area head office, uh, so it's a really exciting venue. We ask for teams to arrive at four o'clock and the evening should be over by around 7.45. And um, we hope that you can bring as many team members as possible. Uh, if you can bring all your team members, that would be absolutely brilliant. The afternoon will start with your trade stands uh, and there'll be some time for you to hopefully sell to members of um, the public, some of the staff at Harley Davidson, but also family and friends that may have come along. We'll then, um, during that time, have the judges come round uh, and do interviews with you for the um, awards that we have to present. We'll then have you do your company presentations. And as uh, Chris has said, these need to be sent in to Alison beforehand. The judges will then go away and deliberate on uh, their findings and what they think of your teams. Uh, and that's uh, time for us to have some food. And then the evening is concluded with the awards. A few things to note with the trade stands. The same rules apply as the trade fairs. Um, and we also need to remember that we are in a professional business's head office. So please make it professional and keep it organised. Uh, we don't want it to be a mess. We want to represent uh, Young Enterprise uh, properly. Uh, please have name badges so we know who you are and make sure you're displaying the correct company details. Please have, even though you've sent it in, a copy of your company report and make sure you are displaying any awards that you have won over the year. Make sure that you're telling the judges and everyone that comes along how proud you are of those awards. Um, and make sure you display the right and correct YE uh, credentials. So your insurance, centre details, business advisor details, centre lead, things like that. Make sure you've got all the information. When it comes to the judges' interviews, um, they could speak to any member of your team. So as Jonathan was saying on the financial reports, uh, everyone needs to have uh, a high level overview of how the company works, how you're making your money, your profit margins, and, and how you've done over the year, uh, basically. Be prepared, any question could be asked, uh, but um, you know, if you're all prepared, the questions will be easily tackled. Um, make sure you're knowing, as I've said, your basic facts around your revenue, your sales. Uh, they may ask you about profit margins, things like that. Uh, and make sure you um, be truthful, truthful, but speak positively uh, about all your experiences. The presentations uh, 
are a really uh, exciting time because it's the first time that you get to see how the other teams have done. Um, so uh, you're going to deliver to uh, the judges um, and other teams and the audience. This could be up to around 100 people. So uh, don't get too scared. It's not that um, scary, but uh, it is something to note. There will be uh, up to four presenters only. So things to note, four presenters only and one IT person. Please, as we said, send the uh, slides in advance to Alison, um, but someone from your team will be able to clip through those slides. Um, those presentations have to be in to Alison by the 20th of March. Um, use your company report as a basis for um, the, the presentation. You can't just read it out because that would be too long. It also would be a little boring. So try and uh, bring in your personality, your confidence, some humour to bring the presentation to life because that will really catch the judges' attention. And another final but key thing to know, the presentations have a limit of four minutes and you will get cut short uh, halfway through if you do uh, plan on it being any longer. So make sure you practice, practice, practice so that it only lasts four minutes. The awards are similar to uh, what you may have seen at some of the trade fairs, um, but those of you who haven't been to the trade fairs, things to note, um, there will be the overall winner, and the overall runner-up. Those um, two companies will go to the county final at the Side Business School. Then there's also awards for Best Presentation, uh, an Innovation Award, the Best Trade Stand Award, and an Outstanding Personal Contribution Award. That could go to any one individual who has participated in Young Enterprise this year. So uh, please make sure between now and the Aero Final that you're showing yourself at your best because anyone from your teacher to your business advisor to uh, anyone involved are able to nominate people, uh, nominate students who um, have given outstanding personal contribution to your organisation. So, some frequently asked questions in regards to the Arrow Finals. Um, starting with you, Chris, what have been, uh, what have made fantastic presentations in the past? I think the ones, the ones for me that have been really impressive are the ones that don't rely on their presentations. It should be there as a support and material to help you, but it's not the thing. Um, those that haven't got loads of text on the screen and not just reading the text off the screen, they're, they're giving you kind of information on some really key points or just some key images even on the screen that kind of bring it to life. Um, also, that time limit is four minutes, but actually some teams try and rush that and get it in and make sure they're guaranteed to be in four minutes, but then end up being kind of two minutes or two minutes ten, and it's just a bit quick and not quite long enough to really get the kind of true story message. Yeah, you it loses the gist of it. It does. Yeah. 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 Jonathan? Well, I was going to say, and very often the brand that the company has built up over the year can come out in the presentation if mm. it is allowed yeah. to. So you yeah. get people giving slogans or um, talking in unison, or some sort of thing that differentiates them from everybody else, but is not just a strange uh, you know, way of uh, scaring people or, or getting attention for the sake of getting attention, but it's actually linked to the brand of the company. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so that I find, find really works well. Mm. Um, and yeah, I agree with the four minutes. It, it sounds like not a lot of time. When you're there, it can seem like an awful lo long time. Mm. Um, the usual things with presentations apply. So the more you practice, the better you'll be. Absolutely. Just a simple fact. Yeah. Always try and speak more slowly than you think you are. Mm. If you literally uh, think that you are speaking half your normal speed. It's probably the, uh, about right. With the nerves and everything like yeah. that, you'll yeah. suddenly be speaking yeah. you know, up full speed. Yeah. Um, so, uh, yeah, but enjoy it. I think very often you know, the ones that, that uh, are enjoying it the most... Um, that comes across mm. as well. Mm. It's it's definitely a moment to be proud of. You know, it, yeah. your whole year is accumulating here. So uh, you know, do do take it in. Um, is there anything specifically about the presentation itself? Because I've seen it in the past where they tried to put funny like an animations in, and then they don't work on the day. So anything, um, any hints or tips or tricks that people can think about when it comes to the actual PowerPoint. Yeah, I think I think that's a really crucial point. What you just said there, the last word is it's a, it's a PowerPoint presentation. Um, we've had teams in the past do Prezi and Prezi. Google Slides Doesn't and all those different things, and you just you just can't rely on it working on the day. So have a couple of options if you really want to do a Prezi, do a Prezi, but then have a backup 
PowerPoint presentation. If it doesn't work on the day, you've got something out to rely on. Yeah. Um, my advice would just be stick to a normal PowerPoint. None of this kind of fancy presentation software because then it's you know it's going to work on the day. Um, the other thing is is while they're, while you're while you're doing your trade stand, there is an opportunity for you to go and check your presentation. Um, and I've seen some teams in the past actually not. I know it's going to work. It's fine. And then they get out there and it doesn't quite run as they expect it to. So yeah. Use the opportunity, the time then to go speak to whoever it is on the, on the IT desk at the time and make sure that works then. Mm -hmm. And I found just that the normal things that you tend to associate with good presentations, so try to have cue cards or something that fits in your hand, something that just reminds you about what you want to say, not all the words, because yeah. you want to be engaging uh, with, in eye contact with your audience rather than looking down. Mm. Also, there's a yeah. terrible effect that if you have a piece of paper and you're shaking slightly, yeah. then the end of the piece of paper is shaking quite a lot. Yeah. And it's a bit of a giveaway that you're nervous. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, so yeah, so just those sort of standard things, I think. Mm. Uh, mm. Know what you're doing, know who's speaking after whom. Mm. Um, but uh, yeah, and, uh, and the, the cue cards really tend to work well. Yeah. So uh, Chris did make a really good point. You have a minute to maximum just to test that your presentation works during the time that the judges will be going around your trade stands at the start of the afternoon. Um, so use that wisely, but that is by no means a, pra a pitch practice, it is just to check that the, the tech is working. So I think that covers everything with the area final. As with what we said about your company reports, any questions, just let us know at any time. Um, so all there is to tell you is a little bit about the end of your Young Enterprise year. So your companies must be wrapped up by the end of July 2017, but a lot of you will do it um, before that. So for those of you that are going along to the Whitney Trade Fair on the 25th of March, uh, do enjoy that. It's a great opportunity to do more sales. But after that, please make sure you've fulfilled all your contractual and legal obligations. So anybody that you've purchased from, you need to make sure that they are paid that you've paid all your bills and that everything is good. We don't want anybody chasing after you after the end of the year. Um, you can pay dividends uh, and return share capital to shareholders. And of course, there's young enterprise tax that needs to be paid. Um, all the information is on the young enterprise online site uh, and there are tools that help you to publish your final accounts there as well. So I think that's it, apart from to say, we'll see you on the 24th of March. Um, if you have any questions, please contact Alison Pexton at the address on the screen. She is the Young Enterprise uh, Local Area Manager and will be able to help you with any of your questions. And other than that, from all of us, thank we, you. Thanks thank a you. lot.